What is going on guys? One more time bringing you guys a brand new Bush Gardens video. And in this video, we are going to be talking about Hallow Scream again. Yes, back to back weeks about talking about Hallow Scream because like I said in the last video talking about Fiends returning, we are getting to the time of year where all the new stuff about Hallow Scream is coming out now ahead of the event because we are quickly approaching the opening of Hallow Scream at the beginning of September. I know you guys are hyped. I'm hyped. They made the announcement about what the official territories are going to be for this year's Hallow Scream. And I'm actually super excited to talk about these. But before we get into the new ones, we're going to talk about the old ones. But before we talk about the old ones, we need to talk about something that's very important, guys. We need to talk about something it's very, very important. My new single, Runaway, is out now wherever you listen to your music. It is a song disguised as a love song, but it is about touring the world, experiencing the world. Just like you do at Bush Gardens, you run away, you get to experience the different cultures, the different inspirations that each country has to offer. And that's what this song it is about, going and seeing the world with those you love. So go check out that song wherever you listen to your music. And also go check out the Patreon where there are extended Bush Gardens vlogs and an exclusive Patreon-only vlog. It's really cool. It's about 30 minutes long. You guys will love it. It's one of my favorite vlogs I've ever done. Now let's get into the video. For this year, it is the 25th anniversary of Hallow Scream. And we're actually going to do a couple of callbacks to stuff I mentioned in the last video. Some stuff looks like it might pay off a little bit. Let's start with the one we all knew is returning, which is Ripper Row, the London territory where we have Jack the Ripper and his victims. In my opinion, it is just one that they should they should not change. It's great the way it is. It is actually like subtly like one of the better theme lands because you do have Monster Stomp that also has Jack the Ripper. The characters really blend in, especially like the police officers and the ladies with the umbrellas. They disguise themselves pretty well when nighttime comes. I love that part. They And they wait and they will get you right when you're coming into the park. I really love this territory. It's always consistent. The screams that they're able to pull off are just blood curdling, send chills down your spine. And the music is iconic with the whistles blowing, the sounds of the crows and the ravens. I wish they would bring back the limbs. You know, when you walk through and you got the little terrace right there. And, you know, it had the feet and the hands and the arms and the legs. Like, where's that? I know this sounds like very gruesome to say. Lately, in the past couple of years, it's just been, the terrace is still there, but it's just with cloth. Like red bloody cloth. And I'm like, no, 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 no. We want limbs. I want to see bloody limbs. This isn't necessarily Ripper Row, but I mentioned this in the last video, and I'm going to mention it in this episode because why not? But let's bring back the talking skeletons at the front of the park, okay? When you're going to get your ticket, pass, whatever you need to get scanned, scanned as you go into the park, we need the talking skeletons back. I'm going to bring them back up in another aspect of the video as we move through this video. So, that is Ripper Row. Excited that it's coming back. Always a solid territory. Secondly, we got a festival in Festa Italia. In this territory, you are going through the swamps of the bayou where they are having a bit of a circus, a bit of a festival, some would say. And it's always a well-decorated area. I just hope it's more populated now that it's always on, you know, that always relies on staffing and different nights, you know, you get different levels of it. I just really hope they really up the ante a little bit because even on crowded nights, you know, some, some areas are scarier than others inherently with the theme. I think there's a lot of cool ways they can go with this. You know, I think they kind of went away from clowns a little little bit. Clowns are always solid. Clowns do a great job of scaring people and we want clowns back. I know this is like a festival. It's not necessarily a circus. So where did the clowns come in for this whole Mardi Gras thing? I don't know. Put them in there somewhere. I want some clowns. That being said, Death Water Bayou, solid. I just hope this one's a little bit more alive this year. I'm excited about this one. And yeah, so that's going to be festival coming back. Next, we got the Gorgon Gardens. It takes place in Italy proper with all the gardens around. They had some really cool moments last year where they had a couple of uh, actresses that were in like, that looked like the stones. You know, you had the, you know, had stone statues over there in Italy. There were some that actually had me fooled. And then their eyes looked to you and you're like, oh, those are always really sick. I love the ones that are kind of like super stationary. And credit to them, if you're watching this and you were one of the scare actors that were, you know, dressed up as the uh, statue, bravo, because you had to stand so still and not blink for so long. So fully commend you for that because that was amazing. And, you know, it's about the serpents, about venomous serpents l lurking around the gardens. Now, I like this. I like snakes. I think it's a cool thing. Yeah, I kind of miss the pirates being there, but I am a sucker for snake-style stuff, so having serpent 
monsters lurking through the gardens is really dope so i'm super excited that gorgon gardens will be returning and finally on the returning territories we have scary tale road now i'm super excited about this one i know this one debuted last year i was at house cream last year but i did not get to experience scary tale road and i really love the premise of it so i'm super excited to experience it this year i will not let this Hell of Scream season go by without experiencing Scary Tale Road. Because it's like this whole idea of like, you know, stories you know from a kid, you're seeing the characters from that ripped out, and now they're monsters, and now they're no longer, you know, sweet lullabies. They're now haunting your dreams. It's, it's a really cool idea. I love just kind of like the originality of the idea. I do miss the vampires. Like, do you guys remember when they had like the whole vampire set up like in front of the fest house and then over by in Germany? By the big clock tower the big setup they had for the vampire stuff back then i miss that i wish they'd bring that back up and i know they really try to do this idea with scary tale road so i hope maybe some way the vampires can come back but i'm super excited about this like i said i don't know a whole lot about scary tale road because i didn't get to experience it last year so i'm super excited to experience it for the first time this year so that concludes the four returning territories now we're going to jump into the two new territories and first we're going to start off with the new territory coming to new france called stalker street it's a pretty clever name because in this territory new france is very much like a little town you got this town that's been invaded by the vikings over at invader they got their logging company they got their jewelry they got their barbecue it's a beautiful little town and all the inhabitants are having to lock themselves in their homes because there are some scarecrows walking around new france how dare they invade See what I did there? I'm sure they'll have some scarecrows on stilts and some scarecrows lurking around. I think this will be a really cool opportunity. I wouldn't be surprised if some of these scarecrows crack out a chainsaw. There's always going to be a chainsaw. You know what I'm saying? So I would highly expect this one to be very active. I think this will probably be one that I think will scare people the most of all these. Because there's something about scarecrows and the face that they have for the scarecrow for the thumbnail for this. It's pretty intense. So I would expect that... This one's going to be quite cool, and I think with with the proper costume design for these scarecrows, they can really blend in with, like, the mulch and the wood and just the buildings all around. So if there's one, like, where they can hide in plain sight and jump out at you, or they might have some decorations of some, like, jack-o'-lanterns, and then you go over there and you're like, is that real or not? And they jump out at you. Like, I think there's so many cool opportunities with this one. So I'm super excited about Stalker Street. I believe that this is a really cool idea, and I'm excited to see how they pull it off. We have arrived to the bash. Now, we talked in the last video, and I mentioned before that this is the 25th anniversary of Howl's Scream. So Bush Gardens has got to do something to reminisce on the past and bring the past to now. And, you know, we're talking about the talking skeletons and, you know, the pirates of the past. Well, here is the bash. It is going to be in France, and it's going to be monsters from Hallow Scream's past are summoned to lurk and terrorize the streets of France for their big celebration. It's going to be a horrifying reunion, and we are warned to face the horrors of the past. And I am so excited for this one. Because you know why? Because all the stuff we talked about, stuff we wish would come back from Hallow Scream, this is the opportunity. We could have some of the vampires return. We could have some of the, maybe the talking skeletons appear on the buildings. You know, you don't know. In the last video I spoke about with fiends coming back to the Abbey Stone, it seems that Jack is back, will not be returning to Ireland as the show. But I said, I don't believe that they're going to get rid of the Jack character. Whether he's in Ireland, maybe he's still going to be in Ireland and walk around and appear. I don't think they're going to get rid of him. It does not say Jack will be there. But you got to think, if they're bringing back characters of the past, the guy they had last year will very likely be there. So I would very highly expect Jack to be back in France, if not still in Ireland in some type of capacity. Like I said, he's a big IP character for the park, so I don't think they would just let it go to waste. This gives us a chance to theorize a little bit and, you know, hypothesize who could we see at the bash? Now, I want to bring up a couple of ideas. Just think off the top of my head, I'd also think we might get some props from the past that we haven't seen in years. So I love to not only think about the fact that we're going to see, you know, lurking characters, I think we're going to see props. So really, that opens up the door so much to ideas of what it could be. Now, I have only been a big Hallow Scream fan since I was about eight years old. So when I look back on that, I think about what characters do I remember. Number one is the, my favorite one that I remember is the Dark Side of the Gardens. 
and the lady of the gardens the roses with the eyeballs in them that was always my favorite i still love that song i play it at halloween every year i would put my money down that we will see probably her return not only her but probably some of the roses now we're gonna get the whole big rose bush like they made or maybe just some of the roses maybe just sprinkled throughout france i don't know definitely got to be getting some of that back now another thing is wendigo woods the event that followed the dark side of the gardens which was the cursed theme where you had the experiments and the scientists and you had the wendigo monster and you had the people that crawled and walked around that looked absolutely insane i would love for them to come back those those people are genuinely disturbing to look at and the fact that there's an opportunity for them to return i think is fantastic and i would love to see those characters return and for me to feel uneasy to my stomach as i look at them and then after that we had unearth scarlet's revenge where you guys remember that whole like docu-series they put on youtube about them doing an excavation site and they found this house of scarlet's revenge and it was really dark Dark with all these you know the cards and everything i would love to see scarlet return and maybe some of those elements from unearth return i think that was such a cool idea did it always stick the landing no now i will say i hope that this means that maybe there's a haunted house with some callbacks to the past this this kind of makes me think there might not be a haunted house with callbacks to the past since they're going to make this like they're gonna have walking scare actors be characters of the past but I'm still holding out hope that maybe we can get something like, remember when they did the vault a couple years ago where it's like just elements of all these different ones, like elements of 13 and numbers up, elements of bitten, elements of catacombs, elements of cornered, all these different things. I would love to see something like that return. I don't know if we will get it. This idea of the bash really excites me because, you know, you guys probably know a lot more themes than what I know, but the ones that come to my mind is Curse, The Dark Side of the Gardens, and Scarlet's Revenge. So I'm super excited to see if any of those three return or maybe all three of those return. I feel like you, you can almost bet at least one or two will definitely be there as well as some other maybe smaller callbacks to the past. I think there's just so many opportunities for the bash. I am so excited for this. Like I'm excited for Stalker Street. I'm excited for Ripper Road, Gordon Gardens, Festival, Scary Tale Road. But the bash just leaves so much to be theorized about what could be in the bash so let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think will be at the bash and who would you want to see at the bash i think this is absolutely awesome i think the bash is kind of stealing the show here because of all the opportunities that it does provide so let me know what you guys think about this list down below are you excited for Hallow Scream? I know I am. We'll be going to the Hallow Scream VIP event if all goes well. If we continue to work our way down the list of 20 visits for Passport to Summer. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed. Make sure to that bell button down below so you know if I had every single time I'm up with a brand new video to the channel. Make sure to go stream my new song, Runaway, wherever you listen to your music. Make sure to go check out the Patreon where there's a bunch of exclusive Bush Gardens content only found there on Patreon. My name is Will Morris, and I'm out. Peace. Take my hand, we can get